Hey ladies, please go ahead, like this video, subscribe, and join my mailing list so you can have access to the Sugar Lady Academy. This is where you go to receive spiritual downloads and transmissions from my dark feminine brain into your brain so you can build new neuropathways and gain a whole new way of looking at men, at looking at money, and looking at your life so you can live your sweetest life possible. Hey ladies, I wanna make this video for you today about why sex is never a fair exchange. I know a lot of people like to say it is, especially men, they like to tell each other and tell us that it's a fair exchange. I'm gonna give you one example today, only one, because there I could make three hour long video about this if I wanted to, with tons of examples. I'm gonna give you one, just one today. So I'm here in the Dominican Republic, I'm at lunch, and there's a table of American men beside of me, and they're having a discussion. They're talking to each other about how the girls and women are really lucky out here. This is what they said. Sex is already a fair exchange because men like sex and women like sex and if they both like it and they both have an orgasm, it's a fair exchange. And then they went on to say how it's even better for women out here in this country because what tends to happen here a lot because it's a poverty country is that men come in from other parts of the world to meet women. They compensate them, you know, they have sex with them and they either buy them gifts or give them money or maybe they'll, you know, help them with something like, you know, pay a medical bill for their sick mother or maybe fix something in the house, you know, if they're having like a problem with their roof or with their plumbing or something like that, you know, men do things like that when they meet the girls here, which is, you know, it's something that the people here need because of the financial hardship they're going through. So, um, so then these men are talking about how um, it really works out for the women here because not only are they getting, you know, the amazing pleasure of the sex where it's already a fair exchange, they're also getting financial assistance. Just like I am listening to this and I'm thinking to myself of the things that I know about that they aren't even considering, stuff that doesn't even come to their awareness these guys were not trying to be stupid on purpose they're just not thinking they just don't know enough to actually have an educated discussion on what they're talking about but instead of me jumping over there and flipping over their table and screaming at them which is what i wanted to do i'm going to put the energy into this video instead maybe they'll see the video one day who knows i want to talk about what happens to girls and women out here this is a country where a lot of sex is going on because there's a lot of poverty and there's a lot of men that come from other countries to come out here and find people to have sex with. So sex is happening constantly out here. There are no legal abortions out here. People are having sex constantly. People are needing abortions constantly. So there are underground abortions. No, they're not legal, but people feel they need them. So a lot of that is happening here. But unfortunately, what happens and these men are not thinking about is that when these girls and women get pregnant and they go to these underground places to have the abortions, many times they begin to hemorrhage during or after the abortion. And because these are underground, they don't have great medical technology that can save them once they start to bleed out. There's really not much that can be done. These girls die. Many of these women and girls die from the abortions. And to hide the crime, what needs to be done next? They take the girls' bodies, they put them into suitcases and drive them to remote areas and throw them off the edges of cliffs. They put the suitcases in the jungle, into the woods. There's a lot of places like that out here. There's a lot of places where there are no people and no businesses, cases with dead bodies inside of them. Nobody is going down there to check. It's happening all over the place. There are missing girls and women for many poor families, these girls and women are never found, especially when they come from poor families, okay? The families don't have the money to have a big search. And there's so many places here where a body could be, it's just about impossible. This is happening a lot. This is why I'm telling you, 
This is only one example of how women die from sex. Men and women having sex together is never a fair trade. When a woman has sex, she literally risks dying from the hemorrhaging after the abortion and being thrown off the edge of a cliff in a suitcase and never ever being found again, leaving her family for the rest of her life gone, dead. I guarantee you there is not one man in this entire world that that has ever happened to. No man has ever had sex and died like that afterwards. Men don't generally die from sex. Women die from sex all the time. And you know what? It's usually poor women that are dying, so you're not going to hear about it. The news doesn't care about what happens to poor people. There's a lot of poor people in this country, and this country is one teeny tiny little speck of land. If you think of the whole map of the whole world, this country is this big. Think of all the other countries out there where this stuff is happening. This happens all over the world to women. This is happening to women all over the world. Why? Because sex is not ever a fair exchange because the risk is never the same. These things will never happen to a man from having sex. It doesn't matter if the man gives a woman a million dollars. It's still not a fair exchange because she can still lose her life. He doesn't risk that. Do you hear what I'm saying here? The woman is always at more risk. Sex is not a fair exchange. It's just not. I hate when I hear a man saying this. I hate it even more when I hear a woman saying it. And I don't care if you're on birth control pills. And guess what? Do you know how many 14, 15, 16, 17 year old girls go to the ER in the United States of America every single day? that die from a pulmonary embolism? Why? From being on birth control. Girls and women die from being on birth control too. Even if they've never died from being pregnant, they die from the, from the substance that they take to prevent the pregnancy. I guarantee you, there's no 17 year old boy dead in the ER right now because he took birth control pills. It doesn't exist. It's never happened and it will never, ever, ever happen. Why? Because sex is not a fair exchange. It never will be. The woman is always putting up more risk than the man. That's all I have to say. And I'll make another video talking about all the other ways a woman can literally die from having sex. Uh, another time, I'm getting too heated right now. So let's try to keep this one short and sweet. One more thing, girls. This is why it's very important to understand the true risk you're actually taking. Once you realize the risk you're taking, you're going to understand your value more, okay? You're gonna understand what you're bringing to the table, okay? I hate that, but I have to say it for this video. You're bringing the biggest risk known to man, to the table. You're the only one of two people sitting at the table, you and him, you're the only one out of the two of you that's bringing that risk and saying, I'd be willing to risk my life in a relationship with you if, and this is where you come with your list of requirements, do not let these men and this society brainwash you and dull your intuition down into thinking that sex is not risky for you. I don't care that all of society is acting like it's no big deal and everybody's just on birth control and everybody's just, you know, sleeping around and everybody's fine. They're not fine. The girls that are dead in the ground right now are not fine. They're freaking dead. Do not let this society and the internet and the social media and all this stuff that is going into your brain every single day, do not let them dumb you down and follow all these other blind 
brainwashed people, these people that are not seeing this. Do not follow them. Think for yourself. Be strong inside of yourself. Know your true worth because you know the true risk. You might be the only person in your community or in your family who is actually thinking logically and rationally, who's not brainwashed, who understands what she's actually risking. That's fine. Be that person all by yourself. You don't need other people to agree with you. Once you truly understand the risk, then you can truly understand the worth of what you're bringing to the table. Once you know that, it becomes very easy to ask for whatever you want from a man. You will no longer have shame, embarrassment over asking for the things you truly want. If you want a house and a marriage and you want his monogamy, you can ask for all of that. You won't need to settle for less. There's a lot of women out there settling. They're settling for a man who cheats. They're settling to live in an apartment instead of a house. They're settling for all different kinds of things. They're settling for 50-50 lifestyle. They're settling for having to work 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 hours a week on their feet when they don't wanna do that. They wanna be home with their children. These are all things you don't have to settle for. You can ask for whatever you want. Why? Because I just told you what you're bringing to the table. You are literally bringing to the table you risking your life. You could die. Hello? Knock, knock. Anybody awake in there? Do you realize the value of what you bring? Now that you realize it, now you know you can ask for whatever you want. You can have the craziest list of requirements from a man. You don't have to settle for anything less than that.